Goldrot's The Goal, Chapter 10. Uh, a couple times, Goldrot hits on a subject that's so important to him that it bridges two chapters. We're in one of those right now in that we wrapped up Chapter 9. Uh, Gold, our, our hero, Alex Rogo, has had this epiphany. He's gone to his plant. He's gone to see if the robot, the NCX-10, does it really have the impact on profitability that the company expected it to have, and he's found out that it doesn't. So chapter 10 is really an extension of chapter nine. Uh, we're gonna be back in the shoes of Rogo, again, the novels in the first person. Uh, we're gonna be living this adventure in kind of a Socratic method, a kind of choose your own adventure novel, where chapter nine, what we had happen was Rogo had his epiphany that the robot doesn't work, that the NCX-10 isn't all it's cracked up to be, and that what they're doing is, because the robot is like a midstream production process, they're building a lot of inventory ahead of the robot. The robot itself may be faster than whatever used to be in that step. We don't even know now at this point. But then we're also creating a bunch of whip downstream from the robot. Uh, whip, again, work in place, so inventory. And when we're doing that, what's happening at Rogo's plant is they're building a ton of inventory, uh, but it's not really leading to increased revenue. That's the, that's the whole thing that we've learned uh, through the previous nine chapters is that local optimum doesn't matter. We're Right now in Rogo's plant, we're optimizing locally to keep this NCX-10 robot moving all the time. It doesn't matter. Chapter nine, Rogo finds this out for himself. Chapter 10, Again, it's really the, the writing technique, the educational technique that we see Goldrot pursue throughout the book is that uh, we've had Rob Rogo's epiphany. Now he's going to have this walkthrough with his whole team. And when he does that, uh, you know, again, we see the same things repeated. Local optimums don't matter. Uh, results should be measured against the goal. And again, this concept that there are three, three, three big uh, financial terms that matter here, and that's throughput, inventory, and operational expense. When we start looking at it from a, a cost accounting, uh, really getting into it, Rogo is sitting around his table. His, uh, his controller, Donovan, has a big part in this chapter. Again, they're all asking each other's questions. They're all having this debate. And uh, you know, Rogo's comment to Donovan is, you know, you're still accounting for it. It's just that his way, his here being Jonah, and Jonah really serving, again, as a proxy for Gold Riot and the theory of constraints, it's just that his way is simpler and you don't have to play as many games. So the three metrics are simpler than what any of us who grew up in banking or finance or accounting would have seen, where you've got all kinds of fancy metrics uh, here. They're really focused on three simpler metrics. He then kind of gets into it with a, a longer statement. He says, but if the knowledge pertains to a product which Unico itself will build, it's like a machine, an investment to make money which will depreciate in value as time goes on. And again, the investment that can be sold is inventory. The depreciation against it is operational expense. So there's a debate within his team. Again, they go from the specifics on the NCX-10 to saying, well, what about this expense? What if we all go get training? Uh, well, is that inventory? Is that operational expense? How do we account for it? And what you can, what I always thought of it is the actual expense that you would pay the trainer, right? That's operational expense. But then the knowledge and know-how that you build within your team, that is inventory. You can sell against that. And if you're running a consulting business, you would think of that as a sellable asset, provided you could convert it into a sellable product. Um, so again, this is a great chapter, like all the other chapters, go read it. It's, it's almost faster to go read these 10 page chapters than it is to hear my five minute summary. Um, but quote after quote is very effective. So any money we've lost is operational expense. Any investment that we can sell is inventory. Great quote from Jonah telling that to Bill Donovan. Uh, he says, again, like what I just said, or a technology license, then it's inventory. But if the knowledge pertains to a product which units co itself will build, it's like a machine, an investment to make money which will depreciate in value as time goes on. And again, the investment that can be sold is inventory. The depreciation is operational expense. This is a great chapter. It really nails the kind of thought process that those three big accounting cost accounting terms really capture all of the important activity that are going on in the plant. And again, that's how you measure, are you progressing against your goal? If you don't have a goal, you don't know what you're doing.